this Cronkite News Update. I'm Abigail Verwick. In a 5-4 to four decision today, the Supreme Court ruled that the Trump administration may not immediately shut down the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program. Cronkite News reporter Misha Jones spoke with DACA recipients about what the ruling means to them. Leo Aldavaz is relieved about today's ruling. I wasn't sure if I was going to be going to school next semester. So like all my buddies are like picking their classes, talking about this and that. And I'm just like, uh, I don't know if I'll be able to work or I don't know if I'll be able to go back to school. He's a student at GCU and one of 51,000 DACA recipients in Arizona. He's also a member of Aliento, a community-based immigrant support group. The group held a press conference today in front of ICE headquarters in Phoenix, where DACA recipients reacted to the Supreme Court's decision. The DACA program began in 2012 under the Obama administration and grants deportation protection to undocumented people who entered the United States as children. Daniel Rodriguez, who was once a DACA recipient, is an immigration attorney. He understands what the ruling means. Um, the legal terminology is that it was arbitrary, arbitrary and capricious by the Trump administration. But essentially, the Supreme Court is saying, you didn't give a good enough reason. And when a program like this is implemented, the Administration, Administrative and Procedures Act requires the administration to give a sufficiently good reason. In 2015, then-candidate Trump said he would, quote, immediately terminate President Obama's illegal executive order on immigration. Reina Montoya, founder and CEO of Aliento, says she got emotional after seeing the ruling. I was crying when it happened. My hands were shaking so much. But she says now isn't the time to relax. That, that the way that the Supreme Court sided with us, it was the fact that President Trump didn't follow all the protocol and all the steps that he needed to do to end the program, meaning that he has some time to actually follow all those steps and eventually end the program. There's also some uncertainty as to what the ruling means for those with DACA applications still pending. What this is going to mean, are there going to be new applications available? Um, I've heard from trusted sources, I've heard that no, there's new application, no new applications available. And then from other trusted sources that there are. So we're trying to still process what this will mean. For now, Aldavaz says he'll keep fighting for an answer. Yeah, I'm staying optimistic. So now I feel like it's just time to push forward and, and try to strive for, you know, a permanent solution. Misha Jones, Cronkite News.